question is, how do you deal with students who want to place themselves away from their classmates? So that's really interesting because, you know, a lot of research has been done around people who work in the most progressive offices in the world. Let's take Google. You walk into a Google office, um, and what you'll see is this dynamic learning space. You'll see a group around one table having a big debate, debating about something, you know, whatever, a new piece of technology. You'll have a, a pair, a, a team over there doing some coding, and you'll have someone working on their own. Maybe they're standing up, someone on the floor. It's all over the place. You know how it works. You know how it is. And um, our children operate in exactly the same way. When we give them the choice to sit where they want and learn in a style that suits them, we let them tell us what they need. If we say everybody in pairs, there you go. I went to a school where it was all pairs. In fact, I taught 10 years at a school where every kid sat in pairs. I chose where they sat. If they were talking, I separated them. I, I know, I'm angry at myself for doing that for 10 years because actually what I did was I took away their freedom because, you know, I've got a girl at school right now. I won't mention her name, but she comes in every day and she sits on her own. She works hard. She is a hard worker. She's a genius in the making. But if I force her to sit in a pair, if I force her to work in a group, that's not going to work for her. She's what some people might call an isolated learner. And you've got a group, you know, and you've got these collaborative learners and you've got what they call parallel learners when they work together. And you need to give them that opportunity to choose. There might be a day when this young lady decides, today I actually want to work with another person. And if you've got a space for that to happen, then she can do that. Or if she's working in a group and it's a bit overwhelming, she's like, this is getting too much, I want to go and work on my own, there's a table for her to go work on her own. So I don't have a problem with children disengaging with their classmates for a time, uh, but also it's important to give it the choice to the children, let them decide. I think that old, you're talking, separate, is a huge mistake. It should be, you're talking, stay together. Because ultimately, you'll talk and talk and talk, and the person next to you will say, I'm not learning anything here, I'm not sitting with you anymore. I want to leave. And the other person will say, if I keep talking all the time to everyone, no one's going to sit with me. I better rethink how I'm doing this. You know, and there's that whole avenue of learning there. So that's my answer to that question, yes.